Hello, Love of Pets here. This is my canary banana. About seven days ago, I thought he had a stroke. Like he couldn't move his legs and he fell over. He was upside down. And I thought that was the end of his life. So I did go to the vet and um, he lost a little bit of weight. So he got some pain medicine just in case he has a tumor. We're not sure what the problem is. Um, he's on Baytrol twice a day and I actually thought he was a goner and a few days ago I brought him back to the vet to euthanize him because he couldn't walk but um, he all of a sudden hopped up and walked around and was trying to take a bath and I'm like okay I gotta cancel that appointment and um, you know some days are bad some days are good but the last couple of days he's improved a lot he can walk now I just have him in front of my kitchen window because the sun was shining. Here it comes. And he was trying to take a sun bath, which is very cute. He's just a little bit off um, balance. So the vet thinks possibly a stroke or just vertigo. I'm thinking it's just vertigo because he's getting a little bit better. and um, Or just a neurological problem. He doesn't have a broken leg or sprained leg or anything like that. But he is blind in his left eye. So that can create a problem as well. And maybe his other eye is not so, you know, seeing everything 100%. So anyways, I keep him in this little carrier for now because he can't perch. And he does slip up by, upside down sometimes, so I have to prop him back up. He can't really go into a big cage. And he actually has a smaller cage that he sleeps in at night that I, I prop him up with a bunch of uh, paper towels. I put them all in a you know, a circle, like a nest. Oh, sorry, something fell. And um, he's fine. He sleeps all night. And he's eating and drinking. And he actually made a noise yesterday. So I'm hoping for the best. And I'm hoping he'll get better. And be 100% again. Yeah, the sun's coming. So let's take a sun bath. Okay, it's Tuesday now. It's about three days after the last time I filmed him. And Banana's getting much better. You can see him hopping around. So now it's time for his medicine and time to go to bed. I wanted to show you how I give his medicine and where he sleeps. And look at him go. Hey, buddy. He can run pretty fast now. Okay, I'm just going to pick him up. And he does struggle a little bit because he's getting stronger and canaries don't really like to be picked up. So I just kind of hold him still, hoping he'll open his mouth when I tap his beak. No, so what I do is I get my nail, kind of open it like that. It's a very, very small, small amount of medication. He likes it. So see his little tongue? He's sticking it in the syringe. Is that cute? So now he got his medicine and he's going to go to bed. Okay, banana, time for bed. So I put him in the living room where it's nice and warm. All my other birds are tucked in. So I just have his small cage on top of this cage, just using it for a stand. It's a tiny, tiny little carrier. I put a lot of paper towels in there so he can just kind of sleep in the nest. And I do this because, you know, he flips over on his back and if he stays on his back all night he can pass away so he's doing pretty good so eventually I won't need to put him in here once he's stable with his legs and uh, I just put him in there I clean it out every day and what I do is I I cover him up and I just leave a little opening here because it does get a little bit colder at night and he's he shouldn't be cold so anyway so there he is Let's see my shadows on my there he is banana so he's gonna go to bed now and I'll check him in the morning and hopefully he'll be uh, better every day alrighty good night banana say good night to everybody I know it's dark and you're hard to see him but there we go so he just stays there and when I wake up He's uh, sleeping nicely with his head tucked in, and he's n he never flips over inside here. All right. Good night, banana. Love you.